Hi guys, so this is the part 2 uh, video I'm gonna sh showing you so after I open the iPhone 6 screen from its main board you need to remove all these I'm gonna show you how to remove the screws of the phone camera and the home button and the uh, EST shielding here so what you need in this repair at this portion of the repair you need a Phillips screwdriver very strong magnet mat just in case any screw falls off uh, you either want to get a screw chart mat from cyberdogalc.com for iPhone 6 or you're gonna get one of these pro mat from cyberdogalc.com you definitely need it otherwise uh, you're gonna lose screws okay so to get a start I like to um, first draw the screen in the proximal shape and I'm gonna draw like the, some basic landmarks that I can already see so you have a camera here with a holding proximal like this you have one screw here, one screw here and you have one screw over here that I can see just basically remove every single screw that you can see uh, if you're not familiar with this repair just here as I am now doing this for the first time Two screws here, one screw here. All right. So that's all the one I can see. And uh, on the side, the bristles here, you have one, two, three screws. Uh, one, two, three on the other side. And there may be some hidden screw that I'm not seeing right now, just by looking at it. But we can worry about that later as it comes up. Um, to do this, it's best to wear gloves, otherwise your hand fingerprint is going to get over the screen and that's never a good thing. So, sometimes you can get away not wearing a glove because your hand is just so much better walking without gloves. You're more agile and precise. But there are times that having a glove is a benefit. Alright, so I mean zoom in for you so you can see better. Um, here we go. So taking these screws out, um, it comes in handy to have a little strong magnet like this, so you could just pull the screw right out for you. You can get these magnets from sabidagalc.com as well. We'll just put the magnet onto the screwdriver. And place the screw onto the mat. out place the shielding here so you don't forget where it came from going back um, have a look so this is the phone face camera also like that. Let's see. Okay. This is the microphone. It comes right off. There you go. Zoom off. So the microphone goes here. Okay. And that's the contact that goes the ribbon cable. So what you want to do is you want to place the microphone where you find it. That way you don't lose it. Okay, um, there's a little backlight ribbon cable here. I don't think I need to get that off, but let me just uncover it so you can see better. Okay, so it's soldered on, guys. Uh, well, obviously, they usually solder on. Um, the backlight is soldered on. Okay. I'm guessing one is power, uh, current, ground, and control. Alright, so same plan. Taking all the screws out. Um, now I'm gonna do the lower screws. The 
the lighting. Let's go here. If you want to do this faster, instead of putting one screw at a time, you can put on the ma magnet first and then worry about that later. Alright. Okay, see those two screws are different. So you want a lower screw here on the mat and the upper screw is here on the mat. Unlike the um, other magnet out there, this pro mat is actually a lot stronger. Uh, you'll have to test it yourself so you can buy it and then find out how strong it is compared to the competitors. Anyway, so there you go. This is the home button. To remove it, there is a FPC connector here. Use your fingernail, even with uh, the f glove, you want to use your fingernail for this. Try to wiggle it in and just pry upward, and that's it. Simple as that. Okay. To push the home button, you want to be careful because the ribbon cable here. So you want to hold your hand and just push and separate it. What's on? One second. Um, let's see if I can get the cable. Okay, this is the part you want to use a tool to help. There's some glue down on this, so this pry tool will actually come in handy. This is the part you don't want to use your nail. Um, let me get under it. And that's it. It's loose. The next part, just pop the home button through it. I still want to be gentle, because I'm going to have to put this back. Alright, so just push, and then it will pop open. Just be very gentle, don't damage anything. And that's it. You can put it right back onto the new screen once you're ready by simply holding it into the proximal location and that's it. And you can do the same thing again to take it off. Some stickiness on it. Alright, so now I have retrieved the home button. This is what the home button looks like. It has the ID touch sensor. And you can put it here, where you find it. That way you don't lose it later, with the same orientation. Alright. So... Alright, so there is a connector here with a ribbon cable. You want to use a pry tool. This is the time that you don't use your nail, use a pry tool. There are other times that you need to use your nail for it. Um... Okay, so that's a little sticker side. I'm gonna deal with that later first I'm gonna remove the metal shelling first. Before I do that I wanna check does anything else I need to remove. Not so much, just the side screws.
So yeah, I think I learned something. If you get stuck on these screws, on a side panel screw, or a Philip sc screwdriver, don't use a screwdriver. Use a flathead screwdriver. Don't use a Philip on these. I think Apple did something to make the screw not fit the conventional um, Phillips screwdriver. Anyways, so once you remove all six screws on the panel, let me turn off the hot air gun. That was me troubleshooting uh, getting the screws off. Okay, you want to separate the ribbon cable here, that's the middle one. And you want to be careful and be able to pry off this ribbon cable before you go on and I think the best way to do this is probably peeling here from the side I'm not sure um, zoom in so we can see this thing need to come off yeah and it's connected so I think it's probably best to grip on this end looks like because it has more com uh, you have more leverage if you rip this part this part needs to come loose first and then you rip from this part because it has more um, you, have, you simply have more leverage and you get to this button part this is like a looks like a support I need to come out I, I, in the future when you do this, put a little heat on here that will loosen the adhesive, it will make it come off easily and I'm guessing you don't want to rip this off I don't know what this little appendage is for but it does have a connector that goes here I'm not sure what it does but if you do only do it here without releasing this part it will come right off so you don't want that I don't know what that would do, maybe nothing but you don't want to rip off a cable when you don't have to hopefully in the future when you buy these parts this ribbon cable will be available, I'm, I'm sure of it, um, it's gonna come with. This shield, it's really not doing much to be honest in my opinion, so uh, you wanna put a bag and not put a bag with uh, ribbon cable, whatever, that's up to you. But that's pretty much it, that's all the power you can transfer. Um, this looks interesting, this is not no longer built in, oh it's still part of the screen. So this is the LCD screen, um, it has a backlight here. You can always jump here if you want to fix a backlight aside from the larger board. Uh, repair. This is the phone face camera, which is kind of small ish, in my opinion. Uh, this is the camera ribbon. This is the uh, this is the LCD, and that's the touch screen ribbon cable. And as you can see here, that, apparently that was a home button. I didn't know. All right, so that was the home button. Um, that's it. That's that's the screen. When you buy it from our web store, cyberlc.com, like this will be what you get or wherever you get your screen from. Um, we only use OEM original screen quality or near original screen quality screens because we don't like to um, do repairs of shitty quality screen because they kind of waste a lot of time putting on junk. And that's not fair to the customer and not fair to the technician who does the repair. Um, it's just a waste of time if you do you put junk screen on. Trying to save a few bucks is not worth it, you know, like uh, you want to get a good quality original screen. Alright, so putting it back, I have this map that I just drew. And it's actually not, it's pretty simple. Uh, iPhone 6, I will say a little bit more challenging than iPhone 6. Uh, 5S, but it's relatively very simple um, to do the screen repair. Anybody can do it, in my opinion, if you have the right tool. Again, like I say, it's a little bit tricky with the Phillips screwdrivers um, for these size screws, and I'm pretty convinced that they are disposable. So if you use them once, technically you don't even need them. Like these screws, they're just pretty. Um, you don't really need to screw them back when you fix the screen. You can tape it with like tape or just leave it as is. I wouldn't bother screwing them back because they're just a nightmare if they do get stuck. There are a way to get them off even if they get stuck. Um, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it in this video obviously, but if you stay in tune and watch my other video, I might show you. 
There are several methods to remove uh, worn out screws. It can be removed. You saw one method I just did earlier, you heat up the screw, that will heat up the adhesive, that will make it loose. Um, that will help. Here we go. So small. It's hard for me because I can't really see all that well with the camera in my face, so I'm gonna have some distance between the screen and me. Try my best to fit everything onto this onto the screen. Move this magnet a little bit closer. Alright. There we go. I hope this has been entertaining for you. Look at look at this. I just dropped the screw, but um it fall onto the magnet mat, so that's not an issue. I just simply pick it back up. That's why I have the magnet super mat on my table. Oh god, this is such a waste of time. Putting this little screw on. Seriously, um, when you do this repair, I strongly recommend just leave these screws alone. You don't need them. It does absolutely nothing but slowing down the workflow. Uh, pure waste of time. If you want to get a lot of repair done and fix your phones, don't bother with them. Um, okay, so the next thing I did was the home button. So I'm going to put the home button back. Make sure this ribbon cable is back in place. Um, wiggle a little bit. It does have some adhesive still on it, so just push it back. Otherwise, you can always just put some fresh adhesive double-sided tape and put the home button back flip let me zoom in for you because this is kind of important you put the home button back you can adjust it however you like the important thing is this ribbon cable needs to flip backwards and you need to feel this and then then you can feel a click you can hear it too but mostly feel and that's it you're done with that and because of this wonderful pull mat, professional use only, not really, you could buy this for just for fun. Um, I can put the screws back in the exact location and the shielding. And you change my screw head. Let's see. Where to go? There it is. Phillips screwdriver. Yeah, just get the screws in one by one. Zoom in. That way I can actually do it from the camera, I guess. You can see better. Ooh. Yeah, for this repair, you only really need a microscope. Um, a magnified glass would do it. That's what I will use if you're doing a lot high volume of these repairs. Investing a decent screwdriver like the one I use here. And get one that you can replace the head, otherwise it's such a waste that um screwed out the screwdriver and the whole thing is broken. I used to use these a lot, uh I don't really like that anymore. Well they're still good sometimes, but I like these better. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. It's just convenient for travel. Better quality. Okay, that's it for the screws, and here is for the home buttons. And here is for the camera. So what you want to do is um, 
This is your speaker. Missing this, you won't be able to. There's no microphone. Sorry, not speaker. I mean microphone. There's no microphone if you lose this. Uh, gonna put it back. Here we go. It needs to be exact matching location. Otherwise, uh, you won't be able to get good connection. Hence, the speaker, the microphone won't work. To put those two screws in first, again with the problem you know exactly which screw and where to put it in. It's incredibly helpful. It's again very hard to do this without seeing. Yeah. Ah. Come on. We can do this. Oh no. The Magnus stole my speaker. <laughs> Alright, let's do this again. I'm gonna use um, the other screwdriver that I was dissing just a minute ago. It's better at this post spot. I guess you need both. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, for the bulk amount of work, you use the high quality screwdriver, but you still need to use a small, small link screwdriver in order to get to the hard to reach spot, which is what I'm doing right now. Here. Where is it? Oh, I wish there's a better way to record this instead of being in my face. Can see what I'm doing. Loosen this. Don't want to tie this screw too tight, otherwise the other one you have a hard time to get to it. Because that's what I can tell you. There we go. So yeah, listen number. Um, well, listen. Don't tie your screws too tight. Technical difficulty. Zooming too much, perhaps. Okay. Oh, I think these screws. No wonder I'm having trouble. These screws are um, not supposed to go on just yet. It's supposed to be a shielding on it first. So let's do that first. There we go. Okay, I, I really want to do this. Uh, right and place the camera and everything get the alignment put the screws in first I'll screw them on just yet because I was having such a difficult time before well I guess you could screw down a little bit just to get in place always put the longest one first that'll save you time See that? My magnet saved my screw from falling. Yeah. Don't record when you do repairs. And put camera on your face. It makes it a lot very difficult. There we go. Since I'm doing a teaching video, I have to be done. Necessary evil. Alright, put some uh, insulating tape. This is what it came with onto this uh, backlight, otherwise, you can short it. And that's it. Screens all back together. Very nice. And putting it back, you just need to. Uh, Put the FPC connector back, one, two, three, four, five, four, five, here. And you'll be done. Um, I'm not gonna do that, or do I? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that just yet, because um, I'm going to take apart the larger board 
and I need to make a skin for that. So that will be the next video. And so yeah, so that, that's how you disassemble and reassemble iPhone 6 LCD screen. And the next step you just put it in and click it back on and you're good. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.